Did you know that 650 words can be the difference between acceptance and rejection? The Common App Essay plays an important role in the college application process because it's where you can let your voice and personality shine through. In order to make sure your essay stands out, there are certain things you should and shouldn't do. In this video, we'll discuss the biggest college essay mistakes and the steps you can take to avoid making them. At the end, we'll read a strong example essay that avoids these mistakes. Before we discuss what to avoid while writing your college essay, let's briefly discuss the essay itself. The Common App essay must contain between 250 to 650 words and will be sent to all of the schools that you apply to. Because there are so many qualified applicants at top universities, the essay is how you can set yourself apart from others. If you and another applicant have the same profile, the essay can help your application stand out. The essay is the place to build a connection with the admissions officer. This human connection is critical for setting yourself apart and can even help with merit scholarships or other special programs and opportunities. With the essay, there are seven prompts that you can choose from. Follow the link below to read our guide for each prompt. No matter what prompt you choose, the essay should seek to answer these four questions. One, who am I? This can focus on one or more of your personality traits, such as being determined, generous, and so on. Two, why am I here? This should display your arc of growth, such as motivating others, challenging yourself to grow. Three, what is unique about me? Examples include interest in theater and science or running marathons. And four, what matters to me? This could be creative writing, basketball, painting, or any of your other interests. There are common mistakes students make that hurt their chances. These mistakes include using cliches, regurgitating a resume, not using powerful language or descriptions, not proofreading. This is one of the most common mistakes that we see in college essays. Some examples of common college essay cliches include phrases such as, every cloud has a silver lining, or time heals all wounds. Cliches can also come in the form of a common metaphor or topic, such as a sports metaphor or pet death. Instead of relying on cliches, your essay topic should focus on what makes you unique. Think about whether or not your topic is something other students could be submitting an essay about. And if so, try to choose a topic that focuses on specific details that are unique to you. At first, it may seem like the essay is a good place to discuss your activities and accomplishments. The activities and accomplishments, however, should only live in the academic or activity section of the Common App. The entire list should not be repeated in the essay section. The essay is the place where you should focus on what makes you, you. If a certain activity relates to the subject of your essay and adds value, you can mention it. But the activity shouldn't be the subject of the entire essay. Admissions officers have already seen your resume once. This is not a place for them to see it again. Another mistake we see many students make is not using strong descriptions and language. A good description can help paint a powerful picture that stays with the admissions officer. There are three writing strategies you can use to boost your essay. Show, don't tell. By this, we mean using descriptive and active language to explain your story or show what you're talking about. Another way to think about this is by asking yourself, how can I put the reader into the story? For example, instead of saying, I struggled to make friends when I transferred schools, you can show your emotions by writing, I scanned the bustling school cafeteria, feeling more and more forlorn with each unfamiliar face. I found an empty table and ate my lunch alone. This places the reader into the situation and creates a clear image. Be specific. When writing your essay, you should always include specific word choices that engage the reader. For example, as a kid, I always played basketball. It can be improved by saying, every day after school as a kid, I ran home, 
laced up my sneakers, and shot a basketball in my driveway until the sun went down and I could barely see. By describing in detail every element of playing basketball, you're painting a clear picture for the reader and putting them in your shoes. Choose active voice, not passive voice. This key grammar rule can make the difference between a good writer and a great writer. Use active voice by ensuring that the sentence's subject performs the action indicated by the verb, rather than the action performing on the subject. For example, instead of writing, this project was built by my own hands, you would say, I built this project with my own hands. By using active voice, the sentence is more concise and easier to follow. It also adds more impact to your writing. Grammar mistakes and typos in your essay can come off as lazy, so you always want to be sure you proofread your essay. You can proofread your essay yourself by reading it out loud or printing it out and marking it up. If you've been working on it for a while, take a break before proofreading it so you're able to review it with a fresh pair of eyes. You can also reach out to those close to you in order to get a new perspective. Consider asking your English teacher, classmates, guidance counselor, or family members to read your essay. To give you a better idea of an example of an essay that avoids these mistakes, we'll now read an excerpt from a real essay that answers prompt number two, which is the lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you're faced a challenge, setback, or failure. How did it affect you, and what did you learn from the experience? Getting beat is one thing. It's part of competing, but I want no part in losing. Coach Rob Stark's motto never fails to remind me of his encouragement on early morning bus rides to track meets around the state. I've always appreciated the phrase, but an experience last June helped me understand its more profound, universal meaning. Stark, as we affectionately call him, has coached track at my high school for 25 years. His care, dedication, and emphasis on developing good character has left an enduring impact on me and hundreds of other students. Not only did he help me discover my talent and love for running, but he also taught me the importance of commitment and discipline and to approach every endeavor with the passion and intensity that I bring to running. When I learned a neighboring high school had dedicated their track to a longtime coach, I felt that Stark deserved similar honors. You can read the rest of this essay and learn what it does correctly and how it avoids cliches, uses strong language, and uses active voice at the link in our description below. By avoiding these common admission essay mistakes, you can craft a strong and thoughtful essay that will impress admissions officers. To learn more about do's and don'ts of writing college essays, visit the college essay section of our blog.